that also Ghana is developing, the Crystal Asafo project is the living proof. Built by Apostle Dr. Quattro Safo, this very special project develops some extraordinary equipment. From limousines to televisions with some very exclusive features. Coastal Television is going to give you a tour through all the departments, but we strongly advise you to visit the place yourself. It's worth it. It's the electronics department and we are into TV sets, um, amplifiers, DVD, equalizers, um, you know, basically home theater sets. That's what we have. the Kantaka clapping television, right? When we want to own it, we clap to hard twice, pa, pa, it comes on. When we want to off it, pa, pa, it goes off. Channel, pa, the channel will change. When we want to increase or decrease the volume, we clap continuously. And one thing about his product is that they are all made up of wood, right? We use wood in designing the product. Basically, that is how uh, the whole thing is manufactured. Mixes, everything, any machine that produces sound is done right here in this department. And this division is more of the center of all divisions. That's if a product must exist, you have to first come to this division before you can transit to other divisions. And we have a um, sample of the patterns that we find here. Uh -huh. It's over there. We have um, the dashboard, the engine block, um, engine of a motorcycle, the speakers, the televisions, that a whole lot is all manufactured. They're all made from wood. This is a six cylinder engine block was built by Apostle Dr. Kuju Safu. Yes. And everything from the head to the blob was built by Apostle Kuju Safu. Yeah, uh, this is the electrical section where we specialize in anything that has to do with electricity. Yeah, and we have so many products here, ranging from generators, stabilizers, and then other control panels that helps us to enhance our electrical system. And this product you see here is a uh, uh, generator that is being researched into because this is the first setup of Osafo was able to come up with. And he's trying to enhance or, well, let's say, promote this one in producing his local generator or, let's say, electricity over here. here is mostly of molds made from um, special sand um, made by Apostle and then these are the things that we use in creating our own things here. We make the soil, we do the molding and then we do the melting and pour the molten in it to take the shape of it. So these are molds for pulleys and any other things. Yeah. And what we do over here is, you see, after the casting of the various parts from the foundry, they just bring them here in order to be machining the essence of, you see, that is, we polish everything at the machine shop here, yeah, to standard, to meet the white man's uh, one, yeah. Uh, in short, what you do here is that we we build a chassis right here, like my, my boss said. Um, it's like you go for the plates and we mold it to suit the type of vehicle um, we want to. Um, for instance, this vehicle here you see is a limousine type of car. So we, what we do here is that um, we manufacture them based on also the African condition. Okay, and um, in short, I would say that uh, it is, it's a chassis place and we put our chassis together, then we mount our engines in it to fit our ties and everything like this, then you also, also take it to the other side and also put on the body to it. This is a limousine that Apostle built. Normally we call it 
Kantanka Obrimpon. Yes, Kantanka Obrimpon. And it's meant for only six people, passengers. And it's an executive board one. Yes. That at least I mentioned that if you're on a business trip or an executive meeting, at least you could have the conference in the bus or in the car to your destination, then you come back to where your nation, where you came from. Yes. And then in the car we have the refrigerators. Yes, a small cafeteria that can you can be served. Yes. Then we have our telly. Yeah, if you wanted to view your business trip or whatever plan, you slot in the cassette and then you'll be viewing it while taking off your plans or whatever, discussing what you want to do. Then finally, um, you are brought back. But you have the internal decoration, everything yeah, well done by the internal team you have, the electronics team you have. Then the upholstery people also work on the seats, what you have. Then everything was done by Apostle, was, 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 was. The architect, the brain behind everything was done by Apostle Dr. Kojusaf. Yes, this is a plane designed by Apostle Dr. Kujusaf. Uh, yes. And uh, the plane is meant for only for a uh, four uh, crews or passengers on board. And it's an air conditioned one. Yes. If you look at Apostle vision and his mission was that if you look at the whole continent, the African continent, we have been a handicap or in the constraint that if you look at the whole world in technology, the whole world is undergoing technology. That if you look at the African continents, we have become a captive to the European countries and Britain. Because um, you need all those things to support your development of your country. It wasn't a bad trip. Uh, we really <laughs> learned a lot going through the whole the departments and other sections of the place getting to know what they do. Actually, uh, the purpose of our trip here is to get to know how things are being developed or how they are advancing when it comes to technology. So I would say it's, it's a very laudable thing. I'm very impressed by what I saw today. I never knew we could have this in Ghana. The only aspect that is missing is the support. I do think that if this man is supported well, uh, we would grow. We would grow. We have a starting point here, and I'm sure uh, if you go around most of the things he's doing, I think it's very well. Uh, out of a kind of ingenuity, he needed support. He needs support so that it could grow from strength to strength. They are bri uh, bridging the technological gap. So I want to encourage them to continue so that uh, this country will develop. Thank you very much.